and welcome to Ilu channel. This is Ferro, aka Monocyte. Today, a bunch of observations on EXN Sport from EUC service by Daniel Cott. I had an opportunity to test it thanks to Batoon. I usually ride my Monster Sport from UC service as well, obviously, with extended battery, 2700 watt hour. So, in uh, uh, the weight department, these wheels are exactly the same 33 kilograms. We usually ride off road. And this is where the, the wheel was tested as well. First thing that you notice when jumping on this wheel is how agile it is and how comfy it is. It is soft, uh, probably because of the veteran Sherman tire, which is a very good choice for this wheel, I think, for off-road use, obviously. It is very flickable and very stable as well. Here is me standing on this wheel for the first time. I was trying to find the boundaries of the torque. A little bit of braking, a little bit of a little bit of hopping, jumping, a little bit of accelerating to get a feel for the wheel. I was worried that there will be too little torque in low speed area, it is enough, it is enough I'd say, it is not monster sport amount of torque or MSP amount of torque, but it is absolutely fine. You can see me riding quite quickly here, probably about 50 km per hour on less than perfect conditions, just as we like it. You can see gravel, you can see hard pack, and you can see uh, a little bit of sand. And on top of that, quite a lot of potholes. This wheel charges through the potholes with no problems whatsoever, without any problems with stability. Unlike, for example, veteran Sherman, in these conditions it becomes unstable under my feet. The XN spot is stable as a rock, so the rock comparison doesn't really apply here. It's more like a hard cushion, I'd say. changing surfaces right here. I'm going from one side of the road to another, trying to make this wheel unstable. It remains stable all the time. I'm trying to find the limits of the torque as well, the, the acceleration. It really nicely propels you. You can hear it beeping when you press really hard. But it's nothing really concerning. It doesn't cut you off. Braking is really good as well. So no problems, no cutoffs, no wobbles. No, no, yeah, he's behind. Ha, ha, boy. No, 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 no
Takie powinny być. Ale dobrego torka masz, bo jak przyspiesza, no bo tak tak kurwa gnojem. No, fajnie, fajnie. This is a strange feature of the wheel. When pressed hard and quick with your toes, it sort of kicks back, rising the pedals. It's completely different to the Monster Sport, uh, which remains completely flat. This rocking requires a little bit of getting used to. We took the wheel to the little spot for some jumps. This obviously is not the wheel designed for jumping and it shows. You will see on this flick right here, when landed badly, it just cuts off doesn't balance anymore. You have to be sure to land properly. Do not land to the back like I did right here. The wheel cannot decide if to support you anymore or if to cut off. It starts rocking or cuts off completely probably due to the weight of the wheel. I'm not sure because the Monster Sport is the same weight-wise and it has absolutely zero problems in conditions like this. I jump this wheel all the time with no issues whatsoever. Teraz było widać, nie? I was playing also with the soft mode, which is really ridiculously soft. It's rocking like a boat. After a hard braking, it lifts pedals so much, dips back so much that you have difficulties with staying on the wheel. I'm not sure who is this mode for. <laughs> My private overhead hill probably about 25 to 30 degrees uh, of incline. Not the incline is the problem here, but the roots, the sand, and me trying to overheat the wheel. I'm not going up and down properly from the technical point of view. I'm trying to make the wheel sweat. And this is what, what I made mean for. The Monster Sport, without any modifications, does not pass this test. I had to modify the wheel, I had to add a fan or two and cut additional openings in the side cover. This wheel, straight off the box, performs flawlessly. Right here you've got 68.8 degrees centigrade, which is absolutely fine. And obviously I didn't end here. I tried to make this wheel work much harder. The XM Sport is a very powerful, torquey, stable and flickable wheel. It is also comfortable, which is surprising to me. This wheel is very capable of road and it, it really likes it, I'd say. And it is also comfortable and agile of road, apart from the power and the torque it has, which is great. Here we've got about 75 degrees, it's absolutely fine.
if you like this video just leave a like subscribe comment this was your ferro aka monocyte from Ilil channel see you next time